Giggity yo, welcome back, kid. Uh, so, we now know where the door of the Crooked Man's hideout is, and we sent Toad to the farm, and now we're just wrapping things up. It's time for a fateful meeting. Uh, got a bad feeling about this. That's it, all right. All right. Let's just open the door. I'm hoping this portal only works when it comes to fables. Oh, creepy. Did I just enter oblivion? Is this Elder Scrolls now? Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. It's good to see you. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you weren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way... Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Fine. Lead on. Man, poor Tim. How did he get mixed up in this? And how is he a fable exactly? With the Christmas Carol, it was actual people. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I thought it was a joke, actually. Uh, spelling mistake, here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy? Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him, too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. Sorry, man. I'm just in a little bit of a hurry. Fucking joke, you. What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Tell me who the fuck is back there. It's the I, I don't problem. exactly know. I, you I just mind the door. He'll come around. The boss is there. Might cream before him. That much. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed. Skin. Bloody hell! This fucking guy! Hi, guys. Hello, crooked man. I was wondering when you'd turn up. Wow. I'm sorry, sir. He's so he handsome. All right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, 
Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hmm. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> All right. But I need a smoke for this. <laughs> uh, hell of an ending. It's just so sudden. All right, so I've heard stories about you in the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed! The wolf is coming, and they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Well. <clears throat> so Colin gets to stay. Uh, I did not try to remove the ribbon. I seem to have gone along with... Ah, so I went against the common grade and sent Toad to the farm. And, of course, I lit a cigarette because it's just my style. That's my style. Alright, so... This video is way too short, so if I don't go ahead and start the next episode with it, then, you know, I'm not going to be satisfied with it. And I don't really have a monologue to go on right now, so let's just go ahead and kick things off. Here we go. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Yep. We're destroying the tree. No! What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, Warped monsters, are you? Only the best hey, come. You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow come around. She's just. You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Well, that was out of order. Oh, God, Big B! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Okay. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. As you wish. Actually, I don't know. I uh, I think I will save this for beginning a new episode because I get the feeling the conversation with a crooked man is going to take quite some time. 
and uh, I just, I, I kind of do, I want to reflect a little bit on what all we've gone through so far. So, we'll, uh, we'll wait for this to go on through. All right, so uh, when we started this thing off, it was in the woodsman's apartment, or Faith's apartment. It was in an apartment of some kind. The woodsman wanted money. We're not really sure what Faith was doing at the time, but we found out that she was being a hooker on the side or maybe for her main profession. Her lips were sealed because of the ribbon. Um, but she was the first awareness that we had about the uh, business office not helping anything but the wealthiest fables, right? And then she was killed and we went on through that this investigation brought us a dead troll and we ripped off Grendel's arm then we went to see the funeral we I guess are friends with Grendel now after sharing that drink in the time-honored Viking tradition um, Ichabod Crane was embezzling funds from the, the city and was not doing his job of taking care of the fables and I think that's where it all comes from Ichabod Crane wasn't doing his job but was he not doing his job because the crooked man had already gotten to him or just because of his own incompetence no, I don't know but I do know it's a very interesting set of circumstances that brought us to this point and so now in chapter five this is supposedly the last chapter i don't know if they're gonna release a season two i i hope they do um but i get the feeling that either we're going to wrap up everything in this chapter or we're going to end up having a major cliffhanger and having no resolution and i i hope that's not how it turns out um but if it does, then I'm going to be really disappointed. On the other hand, if it actually carries through and we can see, you know, how this whole thing resolves, that's going to be great. Because i, I got to figure out what to do with this crooked man. Because it's obvious that he's kind of a gangster, mafia, Don sort of person. You know, he's that kind of villain. But... Is he really that kind of villain, though? I mean, yeah, power and control and money and all that. But by the same token, all of these disenfranchised fables are having to go to him just to survive because the business office hadn't been doing its job. So it gets back to the point of Ichabod Crane and his failure to do his job, either because he was already gotten to by the crooked man or because his incompetence, you know, like I said. But ultimately, I think all of these deaths and all of this trouble falls squarely on Crane because he he dropped the ball, you know. He didn't take care of his people. And I think Snow's going to do a much better job of it, yeah, in the long run. Now, I'm not... This all comes from a, uh, a, a series of comic books called Fables, and I've never read them. I know very little about them. Basically, what you see on Wikipedia is all I know about them, uh, but I hope I don't have to get the comic books just to figure out what happens next. Um, but this is pretty interesting, and I would like to see more of this stuff. I do hope there's going to be a season two because this season one, this, this entire game so far, has been extremely riveting. I, I'm I'm drawn in. Um, 
a couple of years ago I played The Walking Dead and I had kind of the same experience with that and I do intend to uh, make some Walking Dead videos and do the uh, the season one and season two series for you guys. Um, it's been long enough that I've forgotten what happens and so I'll actually be able to react to it, you know, genuinely because I don't want to I don't want to do something I've already done and remember it all and, you know, just be all bleh, you know. Because I know you guys come here to see the show, but I also understand the principle behind YouTubers and the Let's Play is to see how we react to stuff. And if I fake it, it's going to be obvious, you know, and, and you're going to be like, well, why did I even watch this, right? But anyway... Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave off here. Uh, I guess I found a monologue after all. Uh, anyway, go ahead, uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, that really helps me out. Uh, I want to grow this channel. I want to do more for you guys. And it really helps if I have your suggestions and stuff. And uh, anyway, we'll see you in the next episode. We're going to wrap this thing up. And it's going to be a fun ride all the way through. Um, so, yeah. We'll see you in the next episode. See you later.